Okay guys, so ever since gas prices have been going up, my most asked question that I get, Brandon, how much money? Okay, let me not show my license plate. Ever since gas prices have been going up, my most asked question that I get, Brandon, how much money does it take to fill up the G-Wagon? Well, instead of talking about it and telling you, why don't I drive over to the gas station and show you how much money it takes to fill up this bad boy? Okay, I mean, first things first, let me make sure I could even get to the gas station because my fuel level is low. Guys, before I start heading towards the gas station, I have a very, very serious question for everybody watching this video. Are you the type of person that fills up their gas tank once it hits like the halfway point or maybe the quarter level? Or are you an idiot like myself and you wait until... Your gas gets to this point where it gives you a freaking notification about your fuel and the yellow gas light turns on. <laughs> That's me. That's literally me. You will not catch me at the gas station unless my gas light is yellow. Then and only then will you catch me pumping gas. And I know for a fact I'm not the only one who does this. All right, boys, this is not good. I'm on my way to the gas station and I just got another notification. Do you want to start a search for surrounding gas stations? No. I already know where I'm going, bro. I mean, at this point, I think I'd be lucky if this car made it to the gas station. Hey, hey, hey. Hey, hey, hey. Hey, hey. Hey, bro, is anybody else like me? It's like every time I get in my car, I be having my own Bad Bunny concert up in this bitch. Okay, fuck. You know what? Let me, let me stop worrying about bad bunny and worry about getting to the gas station right now before i i my car runs out of gas and i end up having a bad bunny concert with the fucking tow driver in his tow truck okay guys we're almost at the gas station i am begging this car not to stop on me in the middle of the road but look at my gas we are literally like two minutes away from the gas station Oh my gosh bro my anxiety right now is through the roof will we make it to the gas station Please, God, let me make it to the gas station. Hey, 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 hold up. Hey, si te me pregunto si tengo mucha novia, mucha novia. All right, Brandon, enough, Brandon. This is a serious situation. Your car's about to run out of freaking gas in the middle of the road. Look at yourself in the mirror. Look at yourself in the mirror, Brandon. This is a serious situation. Your car's about to break down in the middle of the road. Stop singing Bad Bunny and stop messing around and get your ass to a gas station. All right. Sorry about that, guys. Sorry, I'm I'm so sorry about that. I just I, I mess around too much. I I play around too much. Um, uh, this is a very serious situation. I can't have my car break down in the middle of the road. Then we're gonna have to get the tow truck and get insurance and and just it'll be a messy situation. So I gotta get to a gas station. I gotta stop singing. I gotta take my life a little bit more seriously. I apologize for messing around, but I promise I'm done. <laughs> All right, guys, so we made it to the gas station. We're here, and now it's time to find out how much money it takes to fill up this tank of a car. So you already know we got to go with 91 for this car. Okay. Insert. So before I show you guys how much money it takes to fill this car up, can anybody guess how much? And now we begin let's see it's at five bucks now let's see what it finishes at you know what guys while this car fills up let's check out what are the gas prices in california nowadays okay so there's what the gas prices look like that ain't cheap that is not cheap now let's get back to checking how much this car is filling up for holy mother of pearl oh my gosh guys this is insane we are at $140 and it's still going. I kid you not, every time someone sees me driving this car, the first thing they ask is how much does it cost to fill up that tank? Okay, so we just finished, look at this. Gas tank is full. 
Oh my holy what the dude a hundred and fifty six dollars that's crazy that's actually insane well guys on the bright side we now have a full tank of gas baby only a hundred and fifty six dollars later guys take a look at what's happening here what are we doing mom Okay, we're cutting these for Papa Rug. Mama Rug is being a good wife. She's yeah. preparing some dinner for Papa Rug, who's on his way back from work. Then you have the devil's son right here. If you guys see here, this is one of Papa Rug's favorite snacks, Hershey. Papa Rug loves to eat this, so what we're gonna do, look at this, guys. Extra hot pickle chips. They're extremely spicy. Look, look at the name, Devil's Spit. Look, I'm sorry, but if any food comes from a name brand called Devil's Spit, yeah, it's spicy. So what we're gonna do, take a look at this plate of food for Papa Rug. And now take a look at the inside of the extremely hot pickles. Look at this. You can't tell me they don't look the same. So here's what we're gonna do. We're gonna take Papa Rug's plate. We're gonna take the extra hot pickles. Look, 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 look. The devil is spitting. Okay, that's so much. He's almost here. No, no, here. they have to. Hey, should we throw in a pickle or two? Yeah. Mom, okay, can you be honest so that they don't call me the devil? Whose idea was this? It's mine. Okay. I don't care. It's yeah. me. You have to spice up your marriage life, so I'm gonna spice up. <laughs> hey, Mama Rug and Papa Rug breakup video coming soon. So we're prepping dinner for Papa Rug to be ready for when he comes back from work. Look at this. Look what we got on the table. I made those at least. We got salsa. We got guac. We got veggies. Okay, so what is it? It's eggplant. Oh, he's here. He's here. Okay, guys, guys, guys. Just remember, look, look, look. Just remember, this is the prank plate. Good, Guys, look at Bosley's reaction every time Papa Rug gets home from work. Look how Bosley usually is. He won't come near anybody. He's just very to himself. But now look, Bosley, Ron is here. Ron is here, look. Hey, baby. Come here, come here, come here, come here, come here, come here, come here. Hi, Bosley. Okay, 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 okay. Look at that. Bosley, okay, okay, okay. He's showering Papa Rug with love. Bosley! Hey. I made a peanut. Yeah, are you gonna eat first yeah. or should we play? No, oh, you no, can eat. No, you can eat. Dad, can I do a vlog part? Uh, I just wanna show like what my mom cooks for you. I love you! I love you! Guys, look how good of a wife Mama Rug is. Papa Rug, hardworking man, goes to work in the morning, early morning, works all day, comes back home, and look what Mama Rug has prepared. A very, very nice dinner. Okay, can you do it like uh, try each one? Oh yeah, so, it's a tasting thing. So. Yeah. So the ingredients is meat, eggplant, tomato, <laughs> and all of the above. And what do you eat it with? With rice. This is my favorite. Mmm. No, that's bad. What, what did you put in it? On my wife. We didn't do anything. <laughs> Mom, that's a roast that you're cooking. That's bogus. Nah, I'm just kidding. Oh, I was like, wait. I was like, bro, Papa Rug is roasting, oh Mama Rug's cooking. No, I mean, look, even if it's like sometimes like salty or no salt, I don't say anything. Say I don't want like you hurt her feeling. Like, hey, why is something like that? That's a good husband. Yeah. Okay, Dad, so we have the masaka. Now, Dad, what would you rate that? 100% 10 out of 10. Wow. Okay, what about Turshi? Guys, you know what this is? We call this Turshi. I don't know if they have, like, if every culture eats that. Rate that Turshi. Uh-huh. What would you rate? <laughs> what would you rate that? <sighs> rate it what? Like, what would you rate Mama Rock's turkey that she made for you? You made it? Yes, I did. You eat it every day. What's wrong? Yeah, I'm out. Yeah, I'm out. Give me water. We mixed the extra hot pickle. Like, look, that's not turkey. That's a pickle. You could barely even tell the difference. That's a super spicy pickle. And this is a turkey. Bro, it looks exactly the same. Dude, I thought I'm done with all the spicy shit. <laughs> okay, okay. What would you rate the turkey? 10 out of 10.
Today is a very, very, very big day for me because one of my best friends, one of my very good friends just did something extremely special. I can't even put into words how proud I am of this guy and how hard he works. And he won something today that it just, it made me so proud. It made me so proud and I'm about to go surprise him with this. So follow me and let's go congratulate my friend. Congratulations to my good friend, AKA the superstar from Real Madrid, Karim Benzema. <laughs> Listen, man, congrats on the Ballon d'Or. That's a big deal. Thank you, man. I appreciate that, honestly. Of Thanks course, bro. Guys, all jokes aside, tell me Jay Babula does not look like Kareem Benzema. Twins. Hello, everybody. So last night, my uncle, a.k.a. Papa Rugg's brother, got married. <laughs> all went to the wedding it was a very beautiful time and i'm really really happy for my uncle and my new aunt tony rena congratulations i wish you guys the best thank you thank of you of course of course we love you guys congrats love you guys thank bye you. The whole family actually got pretty turned at this party and we all had a great time as you can see from the clips right here <laughs> Although we were all pretty lit and we all had a great time, nobody was more faded than my dad, Papa Rug. He was the life of the party. He stole the show. Nobody, and I mean nobody, was as drunk as Papa Rug last night, despite what he says. Guys, so my dad, despite having a cup full of Hennessy, is claiming that he's drinking lemonade. I am. So how why? how are you so drunk? Because I'm drunk. How is it lemonade? Because it has a lemon in it. <laughs> so that makes it lemonade. <laughs> why do you think it's a fucking alcohol? It's a lemonade. <laughs> so I attended this wedding single, without a wife. And I left the wedding single without a wife. You know, normal stuff. I went to this wedding to congratulate my uncle and to see him have a good time, not to find a wife for myself. However, when my family came back home, Mama Rug had a few words for me. My mom was a little upset with me. So um, I'm gonna roll a clip of the conversation me and my mom had last night. It was a party. Mom, soon, soon. I know, you always say soon, it's time. Don't you get jealous? Everyone's getting married but you. Everyone's settling down. No, when I find the right girl, I'll get married. There's no, like... Didn't you? There was a lot of girls today. It okay. seems like you had fun. No, I don't go to the wedding to, to like, scout for girls. I go to congratulate my uncle who just got married. Well, next time, make sure to scout. Okay, mom, soon. I'll get married soon. You better... So, as you guys just saw, call me crazy, but I think my mom wants to see her son get married very, very soon. Uh, after me and my mom had that little conversation last night, it got me thinking. I went upstairs, I went to my room, and before I went to sleep, I was like, is my mom right? Like, I'm 27 years old now. Is it finally time for me to get married? So, we're gonna put Mama Rug herself in this hot seat, and I have a big question for her. <clears throat> mom? Mom, yeah. uh, can you please come to the kitchen? I have a very important question for you. Sure. Hello, Mama Rug. Oh, hello, 
bro. I just branded my son looking good. Hi, how, how are, are you? you? Oh, oh, good, how are you? We're recording. Hi. Yes, say hi to the supporters. Hello, everyone. So last night, um, <laughs> we went to a beautiful wedding. You know, my uncle, Papa Rugg's brother. Tony, shout out Tony and his wife. Yep, they got married. You know, beautiful day, beautiful wedding. Everyone looked super happy. When we came back home, I was ready to go to sleep. You kind of pulled me yeah. to your room and had a little talk with me. Do you remember what we talked about? It's about you getting married. Let me tell you something, Brandon. Oh, shit. <clears throat> Listen, you're not like wine. The older you get, the better you taste. You're more like milk. The older you get, the sour that you taste. Hey, that's very mean. But at the same it's time, it's, it's very real. So I appreciate you keeping it real. <laughs> um, wow, kidding. that hit me. <laughs> wow. <laughs> but they to me. I've actually been called the milkman by a few girls, but I don't think they, they meant how I ate. They meant like. Ooh, that's I, why he's not getting married. <laughs> okay, a anyways, back to the topic at hand. I'm sure you remember that. I just the want you to get married. Okay. Okay, you know what? You're talking marriage this, marriage that. Yeah, yeah. I want you to have kids. I want you to start a family. You're getting old. You fucking age like milk. Which, by the way, you age like wine. You look really good right now. Oh, thank you. But I'm going to put you in the hot seat. It's not fair. It's burning. It's not fair that every time we go to a wedding, you pull me to the side and ask me, Brandon, when are you going to get married? It's not fair for you to do that if you don't have a little bit of a plan for me. Okay? So I'm going to ask you one very, very big, very important question. You ready? I'm ready. Okay, so you want me to get married so bad. Do you have anybody in mind that you want me to get married to? Because I'm not dating anybody right now. So do you have any idea? Or? Okay, you want my honest, real opinion? You're my mom. I always want you to keep it real with me. You want it short and sweet? Yeah, I mean, we've been sitting here for a while now. I, I, just just say the name. I want, I want to hear it. Say it? Mm -hmm. Jackie, Jackie, one more time, Jackie, have a good day, son. My ex-girlfriend. Okay, bye, mom. Bye, love you. Love you, too. All right, well, mama gets what mama wants, so hold up. Yo, what's up, Jackie? I'm at the hot or pod race. I'm at the Chargers game. Wait, you're at the Chargers game right now? Yeah. Wait, you're so lucky. I'm about to watch the game from home. I'm wearing my freaking jersey. I know you want to be me so bad. Bro, who's the real gold digger now? I, I want to freaking date you so you can take me to the Chargers games. You need to start using me because I, I feel like I've been going everywhere. Jackie, I can't see your face. Let me see it. Oh. Yeah, I can hear you. Wait, did you dye your hair red? Yeah. Oh, it looks good. It looks good. Thank you. You're welcome. I'm about to ask you a very serious question. Are you ready? No. Okay, well, I'm gonna ask it anyways. Uh, are you down to get married? Yes or no? Am I down to what? Get married. You've been waiting for me to ask? Yeah, it took a little long. You know, Jackie, you know why I want to marry you? Why? I mean, there's a lot of qualities. Okay, no, I'm going to be honest with you. It has nothing to do with your looks or your personality. It's not your looks or your personality. Don't get me wrong. No, no, no. Hold on. Sorry, let me rephrase that. Hold on, hold on. I have a good... Jackie, listen. Your looks... You're cute, your personality, it's fire. Let me rephrase that. But the main reason that I want to marry you is because you're okay with my obsession with Devin Booker. It doesn't bother you. Every girl that I've dated after you, they get weirded out by how much I love the Suns and how much I love Devin Booker. You were okay with it. You accepted me for who I was. So that's why. You dated other girls? Huh? That's all I heard. Nothing else. What? All I heard was that you dated other girls. Does that bother you? <laughs> okay, well, I'm gonna go now because you ruined my day. Okay, so wait, are we actually getting married? Yeah, like maybe next week or something. No, oh. no, no. Give me like a month because if you dated people, I need to like start dating so that we can be even. Jackie, don't act like you didn't date nobody after we broke up. I'm not stupid. Okay, Jackie, enjoy the game, have fun, and I guess I'll see you at our wedding. I know you're gonna be thinking of me. What? 
Have fun and go Chargers. Okay. Okay. Bye. I'll see you at our wedding. Bye. Um. Well, um, mom, if you're watching this video, I guess you could be happy now. And not just my mom, but to everybody else watching this video, I feel like you guys have been waiting for me to ask Jackie to marry me for the last fucking five years of our life. So, uh, yeah, I hope. You guys are happy. Drop a like on this video if you're excited that Brawadis and Jackie are getting married. Um, probably a couple years later than everybody expected, but I guess we're getting married. So drop a like on this video right now, everybody.